the SDGs, of course, call for decent life for everybody on the planet, and that means safe water and sanitation every day. Uh, that's SDG 6. Uh, so that's a big, sharp, bright, clear goal. And I asked of the experts of IWA and uh, people who really know the systems, how do we accomplish this? What's needed? Uh, so I said that in addition to the recycle and reuse uh, uh, and uh, the replenish, of course, uh, that have been uh, part of, uh, uh, of IWA, uh, that we need to look at uh, dimensions like trade and transformation. So I talked about the teas and also even the traits of crops. Can they grow in what kind of water? Uh, I also talked about uh, the Fs, uh, as I called it, uh, the financing, the fairness, the funding. By that I mean what kind of business model, what's the financing? By funding I mean how can the rich countries uh, and how will the rich countries help the poor countries to face these challenges? So it's a holistic view to how we can ensure that the water objectives, which are so vital and key for every part of sustainable development, are actually fulfilled. I talked about, as a young boy, when President John F. Kennedy in May 1961 said, I believe this country should adopt the goal before this decade is out of sending a man to the moon and returning him safely to the earth. I spent my young childhood watching those uh, space missions and then uh, people walking on the moon, Neil Armstrong stepping down onto the moon in the summer of 1969. That's goal-based public policy. President Kennedy made a bold goal. He said we should go to the moon, and not just in general, but before the decade is out. Well, the Sustainable Development Goals are bold goals for the world, that everybody should have safe water and sanitation, that we should stop the dangers of human-induced climate change, that we should end extreme poverty and end hunger, that every child in the world should have access to quality education from pre-kindergarten all the way through secondary education at a minimum. Those are bold goals. Well, we went to the moon uh, a half a century ago. We can achieve the sustainable development goals as well. To do so, though, keep the goals in mind. By 2030, big objectives. And then with the expertise, with the financing, with the sense of justice, with the call to moral action of Pope Francis in Laudato Si, what should we do to actually succeed in these goals? Not just on paper, not just in a speech, not just in theory, but actually doing what President Kennedy led us to do, walk on the moon by the end of the decade. How are we going to achieve the sustainable development goals everywhere by 2030? It can be done. It's tough. It's hard. We have to run. We have to hurry but it's possible.